we're looking after not just the seafarers, the, the, the people with the families at home waiting and hoping their ship's going to come in safely each time, but also the marine environment. For the safety of all, the Northern Lighthouse Board's motto for over 200 years. But where once it was a struggle just to protect the mariner from his environment, nowadays it's just as important to protect the environment from shipping casualties. Mull of Galloway, remote and relatively unscathed. Much of the wildlife has been allowed to flourish undisturbed. Built in 1830, the lighthouse stands on the southernmost tip of Scotland. The last keepers left in 1988. Since then, it's been controlled remotely from Edinburgh with annual visits from technicians. The keepers may be gone, but it's never been so busy. The lighthouse is now the centre of a major conservation effort. The Trust is involved basically to try and bring tourists to the area, that's the ultimate aim of the Trust, uh, and this is the jewel in the crown. Many of these lighthouses are listed buildings, but it's not just about great views, the land is a magnet for bird watchers and is an RSPB reserve. The Old Keeper's store has been leased to the South Rins Development Trust and has become an information centre. The Northern Lighthouse Board actually lease the land to the RSPB, so they're essential for its protection. The area itself has the largest seabird colony in Dumfries and Galloway, supporting guillemots, razorbills, puffins, kittiwakes and fulmers. Well, because uh, the vast majority of our sites are uh, very remote in their very nature, um, humans are very rarely there. Wildlife and fauna get a chance to establish themselves when humans do come into contact with these areas, there's potential for quite serious impact. And that, that's the main reason that uh, we consult with bodies like Scottish Natural Heritage and the RSPB. The lighthouses are more than just monuments to history. They are being discreetly adapted for 21st century use. Haska, off the Western Isles, built in 1997, is home to one of the board's most adventurous engineering projects. The lighthouse was our first solarised, completely solarised major lighthouse. Now, this island is approximately 20 miles west of the Outer Hebrides and um, apart from St Kilda there is nothing between it and North America. Over the history of the Northern Lighthouse Board there have been massive technical advances in marine safety driven by the ever-changing needs of the mariner. We've just recently published a document called 2020 The Vision which sets out our strategy for the next 15, 20 years. And where we're heading is providing a service, still providing a service to the mariner, but being aware of the many changes which are happening within our maritime industry. An organisation that's been doing something for years and doing it extremely well is actually marching with time, with technology, to make it better. For example, the European satellite navigation system, Galileo, were involved in the design and the development of that program. As GPS develops and has a differential, a value-added component, we supply that already, but as those systems develop, we shall be involved in them. The technology is changing on the ships, the yachts, the fishing boats. Every ship now, over 300 tonnes, has to carry a uh, piece of uh, equipment called automatic identification system which allows them to exchange information between other ships. What we believe we can do is provide AAS as an aid to navigation so we can transmit information from our boys and from our lighthouses which can add to the information coming into the bridge of a ship which allows the master and the officers on the bridge to make informed decisions in terms of safety. We're technologically driven, but the, the actual light is the light at the end of the day. A mariner wants that comfort, that assurance, with all the gadgetry in front of him. When he, when he looks out the window and sees sort of a light flashing, and he knows that Scary Vore or one of our other many lighthouses, he knows there's a, there's a degree of safety and comfort he derives from that. <laughs>